Michelangelo, Italian painter, sculptor, poet, and architect. Today I want to talk about one of those artists. His name is Michelangelo. Michelangelo is one of the most famous artists, sculptors, and creators in history. From painting the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel to designing the Statue of David, Michelangelo left behind beautiful pieces of art that we can all enjoy. A brief biography of Michelangelo. Michelangelo lived during a time called the Renaissance. The Renaissance was a period in modern day Italy where artists and sculptors made some of the most famous artistic creations in history. A true Renaissance man. When looking back at the Renaissance, the term Renaissance man is often used. Basically, a Renaissance man is someone who is an expert in many different areas. Michelangelo was certainly a Renaissance man. He used his knowledge in many different areas to create art that is treasured to this day. His art and sculptures are simply stunning. In the year 1475, Michelangelo himself was born in a town called Caprese. Caprese is located in the Tuscany region of Italy. When he was a young boy, Michelangelo moved to Florence, Italy, where he learned from a great number of creators and artists. Michelangelo had different training though. He was an apprentice, which means that he studied closely under several expert teachers. Instead of sitting in a classroom, Michelangelo was experimenting with his art. After this early learning period, Michelangelo moved throughout Italy, continuing to experiment and create paintings and sculptures. Throughout his adult life, Michelangelo worked in three major Italian cities, Bologna, Florence, and Rome. Often, powerful people in Italy would employ or hire Michelangelo to create different types of religious art. In fact, Michelangelo even worked for several popes. We'll talk about his most iconic paintings and sculptures below. Here is the birthplace of Michelangelo in Caprese, Italy. Michelangelo continued to create art and sculptures until his death. He died in Rome in the year 1564. He was 88 years old, which was very old at the time. In the end, Michelangelo is known to be one of the three iconic figures of the High Renaissance in Florence. You have probably heard of the other two figures. They are Leonardo da Vinci and Raphael. Some of Michelangelo's greatest works. That was just a very basic overview of Michelangelo's life. That said, one of the best ways to learn about Michelangelo is to talk about some of his greatest works. While Michelangelo created many different paintings and sculptures in his time, the five works below are some of his most well-known and famous creations. First, there's the Pieta, 1498 to 1499. The Pieta is a marble sculpture that was finished in the year 1499. It's an all-white sculpture of Jesus and his mother Mary. Specifically, you can see Jesus lying in Mary's lap after he was crucified. You can see small nail marks on his hand and the wound on Jesus' side. Michelangelo was hired to complete the sculpture by a French cardinal. It took Michelangelo two years to complete it. You can see the Pieta in St. Peter's Basilica in Vatican City. According to experts, the Pieta is one of the finest sculptural masterpieces on the planet. Next, Michelangelo is famous for the Statue of David. You may have seen a picture of the Statue of David before. It's a 17-foot marble sculpture of the biblical figure David standing naked and on top of a podium. This sculpture of David is after he agreed to fight Goliath, who is the large, terrifying person described in the Bible. You can see that David's left hand is holding a sling and his right hand is holding a rock. Michelangelo took three years to complete the Statue of David. It was finished in the year 1504. The Statue of David is located in Florence and it has become one of the most recognized sculptures in the world. From there, let's talk about the Sistine Chapel. This could be Michelangelo's most famous work. Michelangelo was hired by Pope Julius to paint the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. It took Michelangelo four years to complete the job, with the finishing touches occurring in 1512. The Sistine Chapel ceiling has many different visual representations of the Book of Genesis from the Bible. The next time you visit Rome, make sure that you stop by Vatican City and check out the Sistine Chapel ceiling. You won't regret it. The Last Judgment, 1436 to 1441. The fresco covers the entire altar wall of the Sistine Chapel and is one of the last pieces in a seminal building that was commissioned by Pope Clement VII when Michelangelo was 62. In it, we see the second coming of Christ as he delivers the Last Judgment. A fresco is a painting done rapidly in watercolor on wet plaster on a wall or ceiling so that the colors penetrate the plaster and become fixed as it dries. Michelangelo began working on the Last Judgment 25 years after he finished the Sistine Chapel ceiling. 
It took Michelangelo four years to finish The Last Judgment. He was 66 years old when he finished this masterpiece. The Creation of Adam, 1508 to 1512, Sistine Chapel. This legendary painting, part of the vast masterpiece that adorns the Sistine Chapel, shows Adam as a muscular classical nude, reclining on the left as he extends his hand toward God, who fills the right half side of the painting. One of Michelangelo's earlier works, Madonna of the Stairs. Moses built for the tomb of Pope Julius, 1513 to 1515. This grand epic sized statue depicts Moses seated regally to guard the tablets written with the Ten Commandments. 1496 to 1497, the statue of Bacchus depicts the Roman god of wine. The Deposition, 1547 to 1555. In it, we see Christ the moment after being taken down from the cross of his crucifixion. He is falling into the arms of his mother, the Virgin Mary, and Mary Magdalene, whose presence in a work of such importance was highly unusual. Behind the trio is a hooded figure, which is said to be either Joseph of Arimathea or Nicodemus, both of whom are in attendance of the entombment of Christ. Joseph would end up giving his tomb for Christ, and Nicodemus would speak with Christ about the possibility of obtaining eternal life. Finally, let's talk about St. Peter's Basilica. St. Peter's Basilica is an extremely famous church located in Vatican City. It's the largest church in the world. Compared to the four works above, Michelangelo worked with others in completing St. Peter's Basilica. Michelangelo made many different contributions to St. Peter's Basilica, including redesigning its famous dome. Having said this, Michelangelo died before St. Peter's Basilica was complete. Michelangelo's assistant continued to work in the basilica, and Pope Pius made sure that Michelangelo's plans were carried out. Many architects had worked on St. Peter's Basilica, but little progress had been made. Michelangelo was persuaded to take over the project. He returned to the concepts of Bramante, who was the architect, and developed his ideas for a centrally planned church, strengthening the structure both physically and visually. The dome, not completed until after his death, has been called the greatest creation of the Renaissance. Here is a poem by Michelangelo entitled, Celestial Love. Ultimately, Michelangelo was a genius. His many contributions to the art world will never be forgotten. If you haven't yet seen the works I mentioned above, I encourage you to find pictures of them on the internet. And if you can go, go ahead and travel all the way to Italy to see those works in person. I'm sure you'll be impressed. Here's a famous quote by Michelangelo. The greater danger for most of us lies not in setting our aim too high and falling short, but in setting our aim too low and achieving our mark. Please subscribe to my YouTube page for more fun videos. Everybody and follow me. Jump and swim out to the bottom of the sea. It's time for adventure, fun, and learning. Scuba Jack. It's a shark attack. Yay! Hey everybody, it's Miss Beth from the Adventures of Scuba Jack. Please comment below and give us a thumbs up if you liked our video with Activity Book. See you soon.